here's that deadbolt and usually you'll see two screws on the back side where the where the thumb turn is. You see you have to turn the thumb turn a little bit and you'll see that there's another screw over here on the left hand side as well as the right hand side. You don't have to leave it like that and figure oh I can't get the other screw out. Just turn this halfway up there and undo those screws. Just going to hold my foot on the door, turn this about halfway and undo these screws. That's all there is to it. You just have to be careful when we pull that out so that this doesn't drop off the back side and, and get all messed up, crack your floor tile or anything like that. Okay, so as I'm undoing this last screw, I'm just going to make sure, okay, that feels all right. I'm going to make sure that didn't slide out that way and pop off. So I'm just going to be careful with it. It's been on this door for about maybe six years. When they put that on there, this door was still curing on the paint. So I could pull this off, and this is still kind of set on there. So you got to be careful when you pull these off. Just kind of move it a little bit. Alright, kind of keep track of how that looks so that when you put that back on, you can put it back on the same way. Now sometimes there's a backing piece on there that's got more screws, and it's pretty easy. You'll figure it out. Okay, so this is the part I've got to pull off. You just have to kind of push on it. Wow, it's stuck on there. Man, I don't want to pull too hard with that because I don't want any of this paint to come off on the side. I think what I'm going to have to do is get a little putty knife or do something and kind of tap it around the edge or something because it's not wanting to come off at all. Maybe, oh, okay, there push on it there. I'm going to be careful with that. I just kind of want to take a quick look at that and see how that's all lined up. So when I come back here, I know exactly how that's going to go, okay? Now this is a part here. I'm just going to take this whole thing to the locksmith and he's going to make me some keys with that. Once he does, I can bring it back and put it back together.